Hi guys, Linda here from Gunnut Lane. Um, we're going to be doing something totally different today. Uh, I'm, I'm, well, it's not that I'm over the um, freeform beading. I'm just having a bit of a, um, what do you call it, like a blank spot, coming up with designs. So I've gone back to doing a little bit of um, wire weaving. Um, and I thought I'd come up with this earring design, and so I thought I'd share it with you guys Um yeah, anyway, here it is. This is this is what it looks like. It's a hoop earring with all these beautiful little beads all over it. It's asymmetrical, so obviously that's the front of the earring there. You can make it go all the way around if you wanted to. Totally up to you how you put it on, but this is what I came up with and this is what I liked. So I put that there so you can see it. Um, you don't need a lot of beads. I've just got five different beads here. I've got a little one millimeter garnet. I've got a three millimeter um, check glass fire polish. I've got a, a little um, garnet rondelle. That's a three millimeter. It's faceted on the sides. And I've got a little um, silver faceted rondelle bead here. And a little um, Kishi pearl. So that's all the beads that we're... I'm going to be using in my earring anyway. Um, I also have some of this tiny little ball chain. You don't have to use this. This is just something I added in at the end that I like the look of. Also a little um, plastic ear thing for the end of your earring. There, it's the stopper on the back. I couldn't think what it was called then. Some um, 20 gauge um, wire. I'm using silver para wire. Um, also some 28 gauge, I'm not using silver on this one, I'm using a bronze coloured, this is Jules bronze 28 gauge dead soft, why well, it's sort of got that gold tone to it, so I'm using that for the wire wrapping just to give it a little bit more interest, you can use silver if you like, or whatever colour you're using, gold, whatever. You're also going to need your chain nose pliers, pair of cutters, round nose pliers, um, I've got my uh, wire straighteners here just in case I need them. A burr cup or a um, some sort of emery, emery type board. There, um, what else do we gonna need? A mandrel. I've got my beadsmith mandrel here. I'm using the the round one. Um, you could use a, the oval one, whatever one you want to use. Um, also to uh, hammer, I'm using the uh, rubber hammer and your, your um, bench block okay let's get started so we're going to cut off some of our silver wire here um, I'm going to guess about six inches um, which is about uh, 15 centimeters I think if I remember rightly so that looks about right to me just grab my cutters it might be too much, but better to be safe than sorry. All right, put that aside. Bring in my mandrel. I'm going to be using the second, the second tier on the mandrel from the bottom, and I'm just going to be bringing that wire up and around, just like that. It's actually sort of giving me a tea drop shop and tea drop shape anyway. These boys are hard sometimes. Hard to get out of my mouth anyway. Okay. So that's what we've got there so far. And from here, it's our cut off. You'll probably use five inches of wire if you don't like wasting wire. Okay, from here, I'm going to cut some off. Using the flush side of my scissors, uh, um, cutters, sorry. Uh, about that much. Taking my round nose pliers and I'm just going to make a loop. Just like that. Just a loop at the end. Now I'll take my chain nose pliers and grab that loop and I'm going to turn it. And 
and straighten it as well. A little bit more. So that looks right to me. I'm just going to thread my other end in through there, bring it up to the shape that I want it and the size. So I'm going to measure it up against my other one. Normally I would do these both at the same time, but it's a bit hard to do when you're doing a demonstration. So looks about right to me there. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, now I'm going to cut this, holding that as best I can in the position that I want it. I'm going to cut this off. It's a bit hard not to get that one to fly. It doesn't matter if that's a little bit too long at the moment, because we can always trim it off. Now this is the part where you're going to hammer. I'm, I'm not going to do this on camera because my camera will jump all over the place. But you're basically just going to lay it on your thing like this and you're going to hammer all of it so even the part that goes through your ear you're going to hammer all the way around don't hammer your um uh gosh linda get the words out um don't hammer your loop but hammer all the way around turn it over and hammer the other side i'll do that and i'll meet you back when i've done it okay i'm back um I've, so i've hammered my um my frame and I've also cut off a piece of the um, jeweler's bronze, a 28 gauge of wire I'm using to wrap. And I've got about 22 inches worth here. So um, yeah, we'll just start off with that. So what we're going to do is just uh, grabbing a little bit of a tail that you've got there to hold on to. And we're just going to come through that gap in our wire. Just like that. Wrap it around. Doesn't matter if they're neat to start with. I'm going to do this about four times. That's three, four. And see, they're not very neat and they're all far apart, but that doesn't matter. We're just going to grab our chain nose pliers and we're going to squish those up together. Just like that. Now our tail, I'm just going to bring that around once and I'm going to cut it off as close to the frame as I can. And grabbing my chain nose pliers, I'm just going to squish him down a little bit. It doesn't matter because he's going to be covered over with the beads anyway. Tidy those up just a little bit. Okay, so that's what we have so far. <coughs> now I'm going to tip the beads out. And we're just going to pick up beads in groups of threes. So I'm starting off with one of the, the smaller one millimeter garnets. These are probably going to be very hard to pick up because they've got tiny holes in them. Two. Three. Bring those down to the wire, uh, to the work. And we're just going to bend it over like that. And we're going to wrap. Bring it through the hoop. Just a couple of times. One more time for good luck. Okay. Straighten out your wire and pick up three more beads. So it doesn't matter which ones you choose. I'm 
and again just bending them over into a little little arch and okay this time I'm going to go through the other way normally I'd come through the other way but Okay, just squish those all up together and picking up three more beads just like that Coming through the hoop again. Look, these little garnets have got tiny little holes and they're very hard to see. Rounding them into a bit of a not that big an arch, but I'll do. Okay, that's what it should be looking like now. Just like that. We're going to continue on. Just go around as far as you, you want to go. So I'll come back when I've got as far as I want to go. And um, then we'll go from there. Just remembering to squish up a little bit in between each one. You can always go back and, and give them a little bit of a squish. And don't worry about where it's sitting at the moment on your earring. We can adjust that as we go along. So I'll see you um, yeah, when I finish wrapping around to where I want to wrap to. Okay, I'm back. So I'm down to where I would like mine to um, finish. So from here, <coughs> we're just going to um, pick up some more beads. So three again. Whichever ones you like. Bringing them down to the work again. And we're just going to start wrapping back up. So just coming around like that. Bringing your wire through. Wrapping again. I'm just going to do it that one time on this one. And try not to get kinks in your wire. I almost got one then. Straighten them out if you get a kink. Picking up three beads again. Oops, I had that one then and he jumped off. I'm just sort of placing the, the beads where you can see a gap. So coming around. Wrapping in between the beads. You can come back later on and squish them in a bit too. Fill them up if you want to. 
Just keep them fairly tight though. Oh my goodness, these tiny little things are going to drive me insane. There we go. One. I'm just wrapping around like that again. And don't be worried about your wire shine because that's all part of the design. Just don't want to wrap over that bead because I might break it. All right, so I'm just going to continue like that up to the top and I'll meet you back when we get up there. Okay, up to the top there. I've wrapped the wire around just twice. Now, if you don't feel it feels uh, looks full enough to you, you can go again with another row of beads. Totally up to you what you do. But if you're going to do that, I would suggest you put on a bit more wire. So I'd go, you know, another probably six inches or something like that. No, I'd go more than that. I'd, I'd probably go another eight inches of wire to the original 22 inches I told you. Okay, from here... Now we're going, I'm going to add in, you don't have to do this if it's if it's not what you like or, or you don't have any and you don't want to purchase it. I'm going to add in the ball chain wire. So to do this, I'm just going to, which is very slippery, it's a little bit hard to do. Not hard, um, awkward is probably the word I want. So I'm going to grab, without wasting too much of my ball, ball chain, I'm going to grab a small amount there. And with my wire, I'm just going to wrap that around. If I can do this on camera, hopefully. Okay. It might sit there for me while I get this through. I'm just going to grab a pair of pliers to grab that chain. I might be able to do it easier that way. Come here, you slippery little thing. Oh, no, I can't do it with those. All right. Just undo that. Get that kink out. reasonably straight. Try this again. Actually, I might try laying it from the other side. That might work better. Oops. Here, here. These things are always easier to do when you're not on camera. Okay, I've got to get that out of the way. I could have cut it off from the length of the chain, but I don't know how much I'm going to need. This might work, I think. I'm sorry for my, I know my fingers are in the way, but I can't move them at the moment. Just trying to capture that chain in there. Okay, that looks secure to me. 
good. I'm glad that worked. Okay, from here, I'm just going to wind this train through. I'm making this look harder than it is, but I'm, I'm trying to do this on camera. Let's get that wire out of the way for the moment. I'm just going to wind it around um, in a fashion that looks pleasing to the eye. I'm just going to let that hang there and then I'm just going to take this wire and I'm just going to wind that around as well and remembering that this is part of your design so you don't want to hide it too much Oh, I'm all off camera there. Sorry, guys. Gosh, I'm just winding. I was concentrating too much on what I was doing and not that I was on camera. Sorry. Now I'm just going to wind around this bit of the chain, the ball chain. So I'm winding that into the frame. Making sure it's nice and secure. Okay, we can cut this ball chain now. Just taking your cutters and getting as close as you can without cutting the wire that you've wrapped it with and just snipping that off and then I'm just going to wind around that one more time there and continue this wire oh no I haven't got enough if I had enough oh I might have just enough we'll see I'll go around over there and get that in somewhere there. Ooh, just enough maybe look at that how lucky was I for that one okay and then just wrap around a couple more times at the top I have to use my pliers but this one is too small Now we're just going to cut that little bit of wire off. Is our chain those pliers? Feeling that there's nothing sharp on there. Okay, that's perfectly fine for me. 
and that's what our earring is looking like. So I moved this camera down so that I have you on camera and now I've moved myself up and I'm off camera. Okay, then just popping on our and don't forget to do your little burr thing on the end there. I didn't do mine, but I can do that later. Popping on your little stopper. And that's our earring. You can fiddle around with it. Oh, I missed that chain there a little bit. Anyway, I'll fix that up later off camera. Um, I just didn't catch it in with the wire. So just be careful of that when you're doing it. But I think they're a beautiful pair of earrings. I would wear those proudly. So you guys just let me know in the comments what you think. It's something different from what I normally do. And um, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to show you that I am not just don't do um, seed beading. Uh, free form. Anyway guys, uh, yeah, um, that's all for me right now. Please, if you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate it if you did. Um, and hit the, the bell so that you get a notification when I post new videos. Otherwise, you'll miss out. And um, I'll catch you all in, in the next video. Everyone have a great one. Bye.